Well, more and more Hoosier manufacturers are considering onshoring or shifting production back to the United States. The implications could be significant in states, particularly like Indiana. Fortville-based Genesis Plastics Welding provides radio frequency welding and heat sealing applications for the military, medical, and a number of other industries. CEO Tom Ryder is here now to talk about how onshoring is impacting his uh, company. And uh, Tom, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about your company, um, uh, welding, uh, heat sealing. Give us a thumbnail of uh, uh, Genesis Plastics. Genesis Plastics Welding is a contract manufacturer. So we use radio frequency welding technology along with some proprietary technology to weld unique bags, um, blood pressure cuffs, deep vein thrombosis sleeves, disposable heating blankets, a variety of medical devices that service our customers' needs. You're located in Fortville, uh, and you saw the, the family-owned business has been in the, the family since the late 80s, I correct, believe. Correct. Uh, you saw business going very well, and then uh, a rush of companies sending products overseas impacted the company. Absolutely. We, we had a change of our, our business plan um, in the early 2000 range, and uh, that change went from making consumer-type products to more of the medical devices and military devices. Mm -hmm. And so with that change and with the infrastructure that we've added, uh, we've been very, very healthy from that in our clean room services, mm -hmm. um, making those medical devices. Yeah. A lot of industries, auto industry, uh, among them uh, companies were chasing uh, lower wage uh, manufacturing and production elsewhere, China for example. Right. But as you look at the numbers now, the cost of labor in countries like China is actually going up and then there are other associated issues that you're seeing, you're beginning to see customers saying we want to make these things back in the United States. Absolutely. Uh, labor costs years ago were very attractive to go to China. Um, in the past few years, it's gone up about 30 to 40 percent. Um, looking at, uh, they're forecasting about 18 percent per year uh, moving forward. And then you take that in combination with some logistics challenges. Um, you have uh, product on the water for four weeks. You have strikes going on in the port back in December 2012 that add additional delays. And then you have cumbersome uh, quality challenges. Um, it's, it's hard to deal with the quality challenge with a company that's in a 10-hour time zone difference. Uh, you have to fly a team over, you have the cost of flight over there. Something that may only take two days to fix here will take about two weeks to fix and over and there. And you mentioned, we were talking off camera, one of your customers, Innovative Medical, a good example of Absolutely. that kind of that change in thinking. Absolutely. Innovative Medical is a, a great example of a company that has a cooling and heating therapy product. They were having it manufactured over in China. They had consistent quality issues, shipping issues. And they, they came to us for that reason. We, we solved the problem of their leaking issues, mm -hmm. and we haven't had any quality issues since they came to us. As you look at this onshoring concept or phenomenon, if you will, a lot of people I talk to sense that this is going to continue. This is a trend. This is something that, uh, that is going to, to continue. Your thoughts? Yes. Uh, we, we've seen a, a great increase in demand mm -hmm. uh, for product manufacturing here in the United States. Uh, labor costs getting, becoming more and more comparable. Uh, being in a rural mm -hmm. town like we are in Fortville, we have more comparable labor costs. Um, we're increasing our quality services, and they have less of the concerns of product manufacturing here in the U.S. You touched on this earlier, but I think it's it's uh, important to note your growth, uh, especially in, in clean room and, and the, the technical areas. You really have a big focus. A big part of your business is medical device. Absolutely. This is a huge medical device state. What does that portend or potentially offer for you? Well, we've, we've expanded our engineering team. We've grown the engineering team to provide more design assistance, design for manufacturing assistance, so that, and along with our proprietary technologies that we have employed, we're able to offer our customers a variety of materials that can be used in their products mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. versus other companies that don't have that proprietary technology. How about getting a uh, final question for you, but um, um, skilled workers, it's a, it's a challenge for all companies around the area. Are you finding the workers you need? You know, we, we are. I, I think that uh, we're, we have a good school systems nearby, mm -hmm. and we're finding uh, good opportunities to hire engineers. Uh, that, that are hungry uh, to, to work on these products and, and the opportunity to manufacture here in the United States. All right, Tom Ryder, the CEO of Genesis Plastics Welding. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, and we'll talk to you soon. Absolutely.